Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about sex clothes planning. My name is Iman al Food Safety Consultant. Planning is subdivided into the following. 6.1 Actions to address risks and opportunities. 6.2 Objectives of the Food Safety Management System. 6.3 Planning of Changes. Planning is one of key components of food safety management system ISO 22000-2018. This is the framework that outlines how organizations should analyze and determine the opportunities and risks that arise from their activities and the best way to address them. The only way to getting a clearer understanding of the potential opportunities and risks is by conducting assessment of expectations, context, and needs of interested parties. You need to ask yourself the following questions. What are you trying to achieve? What are things that could prevent you from achieving your goals? How can you address these issues? How can you turn risks into opportunities? How to make opportunities to improve the situation? Who are persons that are responsible for executing specific actions? What are techniques for determining the effectiveness of the actions? To address opportunities and risks, and achieve all your food safety goals, you need to make an action plan. Start by planning all actions you set to address a range of identified opportunities and risks, then proceed to devise a way to integrate them in your food safety management system, implement them, and eventually evaluate their effectiveness. There are two types of risks, food safety risks, and the risks that can affect your food safety management system. ISO 22000 creates a distinction between the two forms. The first form focus on operational level, while the second can be controlled via creation and the maintenance of CCPs, OPRPs, and BRPs. It may also include emergency preparedness, as well as those risks that may affect the whole management and have influence on food safety management. The second section 6.2 Objectives of the Food Safety Management System. Goals should be measurable in line with the country food safety policy, in line with enforceable food safety requirements, communicable, verifiable, maintainable, documentable, realistic, and achievable. The best and the most effective way of communicating food safety objectives to relevant parts is to incorporate them into the induction training. Also can be displayed on the website. To establish adequate goals for your organization, the best guide can be the smart way, specific, measurable, achievable, and timely bound, specific and can be precise as possible, measurable and easily quantifiable so that you can track the progress, achievable, failure isn't an option here timely bound with a completion date. You need to put this matrix somewhere where you can revisit it for clarification purposes. What should be done? What are required resources? Who is responsible for various tasks? 
when will be the completion time? What are methods of evaluating the results? The third section is 6.3 Planning of Changes. It means control how food safety management system changes are planned and implemented. Plan changes to your food safety management system including personal changes. You should take in consideration the purpose of the changes you intend to make, responsibilities and authorities whenever you make changes, the consequences that the changes could potentially produce, the availability of resources whenever you make changes, the integrity of your food safety management system whenever you make changes, Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next clues.